Okay, you can go. Wow, that's that's that's, right that's the best introduction I've had to doing solar astronomy. I'm not solar. I was just talking about my solar astronomy, but nighttime astronomy with my telescopes here on Mount Tabor. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do this here for thousands of hours over the last ten years. With bigger telescopes than that one set up. So, I'm sorry. What do you do? I just let people look at the telescopes at the moon and the planets. There's Venus going down there. It looks like a little crescent moon itself right now. Um, uh, some people think I actually live here. I've done so much, but um, I'm just taking a quick video here to show my friends that uh, Well, there it is. I didn't think I'd get it this well on a video and uh, Yeah, just handheld tomorrow night the moon will be a little more to the left and above Venus there and then above And then above Venus you can't see now because of the clouds But if you look to upper left to the upper left is Jupiter. I'm just telling you where it's at you of course, you can't see it in the dark clouds. And then further upper left is Saturn. Have you ever seen that in a telescope? Uh, Have you? Yeah, oh, you should see it. Everybody should. It can change people's lives when they see it in the telescope in the rings. And then Mars is over here to the southeast. But that is, look, at, look what it looks like. It's all dark and cloudy. Yeah. So we're so lucky just to see yeah. this. Boy, the autofocus is really failing now. <coughs> um, um, well, I don't know about that. I mean, no one's proven that, but 